Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe during this time. This is Radhika here again and this video is going to be um, about a question I was asked uh, on email uh, by a person and um, it's about how to deal with indirect comments from a narcissistic family. Um, so this is quite a common situation if you are in a narcissistic family. A lot of times they don't say things directly but they will make you know like comments about certain things that you do or um, you know very indirect so something that you can't really put a finger on but it's like you know it is directed towards you uh, so how do you what do you do with this and how do you reply to it um so the first thing is that understand that this is this behavior comes from a lot of uh, jealousy probably and a lot of insecurity uh, that this group or this person is feeling towards you so what they want to do is through these indirect comments or through you know like whatever putting you down in some way which is not extremely direct uh, it's a very covert narcissistic way of dealing with, you know, uh, some some unhealthy emotions that they are feeling inside themselves. Um, what they want to do is they want you to feel bad, basically. That is the bottom line of it. So how do you deal with it? Is that you don't feel bad. <laughs> and I know that is a difficult thing to ask someone when, you know, like... Um, someone is saying something bad to you the first reaction or uh, if they are indirectly saying something bad to you the first reaction is that you want to kind of uh, defend yourself and you want to uh, maybe like correct the wrong thing they are saying or something like that you know those are the the first reactions that come up uh, but in this case uh, what you have to do is you really have to understand why they are doing this and they are doing this to get you involved in their bs in their insecurity in their basically they are projecting their own insecurity onto you in some twisted way so they want you to become insecure about whatever this thing is that they are commenting about they want you to get into a self-doubt about whatever it is that they are commenting about so the biggest thing you can do is not fall into that trap and just understand this to a great degree that this behavior that they have has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with the bad emotions that they are constantly feeling inside themselves that they the 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 lessness you know they they don't feel complete inside they don't feel whole inside so the the low self-esteem that they have it projects itself upon you and it wants you to kind of doubt yourself so this is the main purpose of all these indirect comments or the hate that you get etc so all you have to do is you have to understand this and then once you really understand it you kind of have to tell it to yourself many times when it happens and then you have to realize that i don't want to give my energy to this situation because it doesn't help me in any way and once you understand these two things you will be out of this dynamic where someone says something to you and gets you pulled in to their agenda you know the whole thing is like they are pulling you in and what to and you get pulled in because at some level you also have an insecurity regarding whatever they are talking about so if they talk about your job say you have a job that the narcissistic clan does not approve of say you are like a model and your family does not approve of you being a model or something like that and all the time they kind of nitpick on this aspect of you being a model so what you have to do is you have to completely accept your career you have to accept your decision you have to own it a hundred percent when you own it a hundred percent whatever 
इनडायरेक्ट कॉमेंट और वॉट एवर डायरेक्ट कॉमेंट और वॉट एवर लाइक जोक दे मेक अबाउट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैव एन अफेक्ट ऑन यू बिकॉज यू आर नॉट वाइब्रेटिंग एट द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी दैट दे आर वाइब्रेटिंग ऑन यू नो सो वेन यू आर अ वाइब्रेशनल मैच इट इट कोलाइड्स यू नो यू कोलाइड विद ईच अदर बट वेन यू रेज योर वाइब्रेशन दे कॉन्ट रीच यू बिकॉज दे आर एट दिस लेवल सो दे विल फाइंड सम वन एल्स दे विल पिक अप सम वन एल्स इज इनसिक्योरिटी बट यू आर नॉट इनसिक्योर एनी मोर सो यू यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट अफेक्टेड बाय देयर कॉमेंट्स एनी मोर सो या सो दैट वॉज लाइक एन एनर्जेटिक एंड एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल काइंड ऑफ अप्रोच टू दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम आई डोंट थिंक फीलिंग इज दैट हेल्पफुल बिकॉज आई थिंक यू आर ऑलरेडी फीलिंग इट सो वेन दे वेन दे पुट आउट द इनडायरेक्ट कॉमेंट और जोक और वॉट एवर द फीलिंग दे वॉन्ट यू टू हैव इज ऑफ डाउट और शेम और एम्बेरसमेंट और फीलिंग लेसर दैन समथिंग एंड सिंस यू रोट टू मी I can understand that you have already felt it you know you are feeling it and now you want to get out of the feeling so the first step is like feeling then the second step is like intellectually understanding what is happening and then i would say the third step is if you can get a spiritual understanding or understanding at an energetic level that why do you see this in your life that can also give you like a spiritual understanding on the situation and spiritually how to solve it and the spiritual hack for everything is like you have to fix things inside of you when you fix things inside the outside already fixes itself um but yes we can't jump to the spiritual step we have to go through the feeling and the intellectualization and then we go to the spiritual that's the usual route um so yeah that was my answer to this question and i hope this helps you in some way uh i wish you all a very happy holiday season and hope you guys are feeling happy and joy joyful during these times um as always i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye